Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Margarita and I'm so excited for today's video because we're gonna talk about this Dior Summer 2024 makeup collection. I have both of the eyeshadow quints, Pasta Glow and Coral Flame. I have all of the shades of the blushes, Bronze Glow, Pink Lilac, and Poppy Coral. I have their limited edition bronzer. I have two shades of their liquid highlighter, Dior Glow Maximizer, and I have Three, the products that has the same shades of the blush, bronze glow, I have it in lip oil, pink lilac, I have it in lip shine formula with this limited edition case, and this poppy coral in lip glow. Without further ado, let's start the makeup demo. By the way, before we start, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you like this kind of videos. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up about this collection. These are all limited edition. And let's start with all of this makeup. Uh, we will start with this pastel glow. This is more popular than the Coral Flame because it was on your website. This one went out of stock right away. Let's start the eye makeup look with this one. Here's the swatches. And this is made in France, $70. Six month shelf life. If you notice from the swatches, there's no really matte color here. Every shade here is like a satin. It's very light, so <laughs> yeah, you won't get any bold eye makeup look from this palette. So we're gonna start with this lavender shade. I put it all over my lid first so you will see the real color of it before I put the other shades because obviously everyone is excited about this lavender shade and this is it. I will just do the same with the other eye. Okay guys, so this is it. This is a beautiful shade of lavender and this collection is all about like glowy summer looks. All of the shades here is like very shiny. When I'm putting it in my eyes, it's very luminous. If you're familiar with Tom Ford formula, the wet and dry, this is it. But this one is a little bit sheer though. This is pretty. Now we're gonna use this color. This is the darkest shade in the palette. I'll just put it on the outer corner. That one is pigmented, it's pretty. If you want a neutral look, these three shades is very everyday. This brown shade here is like a copper that is brown and mahogany. This is good one and done eyeshadow. You know, if you want that bronze look, it's pretty. Okay, let's use this one in the middle. It's like not a topper because it has the same formula. It's gorgeous. I will just use my ring finger and let's put it in the middle creating a halo eye effect it's nice <laughs> it reminds me of the chanel besides collection their top right there this is it it's just this is less sparkly that's nice let's put this beautiful pink right here Oh, that pink is really glowy. It's like a highlighter. It's pretty. I want to put that pink glowy shade on my inner corner. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty. I love this eyeshadow. This is not their new formula. It's like the old formula of Dior that we used to love, and this is a gorgeous palette. For an lower lash line, I would just use this brown shade. And you know what is the good thing about this eyeshadow, you guys? It has no fallout. It's very creamy and very easy to blend. That's how it looks like alone. It has a red undertone. I will add that brown shade at the outer corner. And this is the final look. I mean, that was quick. <laughs> this is so easy to use, you guys. 
everything blends seamlessly. I'll just finish my eye makeup look with lashes and eyeliner and I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is the final look of this eyeshadow. It's pretty. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. What else can I say? Now let's do the blush and I have the Dior Lila Rosy Glow blush. This is the Dior Backstage line. This is so pretty guys. This is how it looks like. Here's the swatches. It literally matches the lavender shade in the eyeshadow. So I'm so excited to use it. And for comparisons, I want to compare this Pink Lilac versus this Viral OG blush from Dior, the Pink Glow. Put this shade Pink Lilac on this side and this pink shade on this side. So we can see if there's a difference between the two because I swatch it side by side on my shorts on my YouTube channel. They almost look the same. And this one, you guys, it doesn't swatch well, but it looks good on the cheeks. And I will use a natural hair brush. This is Comfort Brush. You see, it's pigmented. <laughs> but when you swatch it, you can barely see it. But when you put it on your cheeks, it's really pretty. You know, this blush reacts with your skin tone this is like ph kind of blush that when you put it on it will just blend with your skin tone it's pretty i'll put it up all of my cheeks a little bit so this is how it looks like the lilac i don't put bronzer yet because I want you guys to see the color of the blush. And now we will put the pink shade on the other cheek. I'm using another natural hair brush. You guys, it looks um, exactly the same. <laughs> Hold on, I will put more. Okay, so this is the Pink Glow, and this is the Lilac. Okay, if you like that Barbie doll, <laughs> Barbie hot pink or pink shade, this blush is for you. <laughs> this is both beautiful, but if you already have this Pink Glow, I don't think you need this lavender or pink lilac because they almost look the same. A good blush, but I don't think you need it when you have this pink glow blush. It's beautiful though, I won't lie. I mean, I look so pink. <laughs> now let's try the bronzer. Oh you yeah, guys, this is the bronzer. I won't lie. When I bought this bronzer, I bought it for the packaging. <laughs> I already have a lot of bronzer from Dior. I don't need a new one, but... This packaging though, it's limited edition, it's $55. They have four shades on their website, and this is the third shade, 051, because I belong to like the medium. Here's the swatches of this bronzer. It's leaning very, very warm and peachy. So, <laughs> and this blush is very cool tone. Let's see how it looks like when they blend together. This is not my first time using this. To be honest with you guys, this is a beautiful bronzer because it has that glow that I like. It's like a Tom Ford bronzer. <laughs> beautiful on your skin. It's just, it tends to be a little bit warm. This is $55, unlimited edition. And if you don't like a scented makeup, you will not like this. The scent of this is very strong. Let's start in the forehead so you will see the look, so you will see the shade. So that how it looks like. It's not bad though. It works on my skin tone. I have yellow undertone, that's why it's blends perfectly on my color, yellow undertone, but I don't Think it will look good on other skin tone. Maybe if you have olive undertone, it will be okay. But if you're more fair than me, choose the first two shades. Let's put this on the cheek. Okay, so this side looks like. Actually, it's nice. <laughs> 
it's nice when they blend together I'll take it back okay it's okay <laughs> to mix this warm tone and this cold tone here's the difference with the bronzer without actually I like this now <laughs> it blends beautifully with the blush I'll do the other cheek with this bronzer Okay you guys, the look is starting to look almost complete and now we're going to review this highlighter. This is the new Dior liquid highlighter. It's called Dior Forever Glow Maximizer and I have two shades. I have the pink one and the rosy one. Now for this look, I will use this pink because this rosy is too dark for a highlighter for me. I think I will use this as, as a blush. So. This one is perfect for this cool tone pink blush. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It has a big doe foot applicator. This is so beautiful because this is like if you've used the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter, pillow top, spotlight is the same as this. But the difference is this is less metallic than the Charlotte Tilbury and it melts in your skin like your skin is moisturized and this is how I use it. I like using my finger. You see one dot <laughs> and how the glow of it versus the other cheek that doesn't have any highlighter. one dot of this and it automatically gives you a juicy fresh <laughs> cheeks it looks like healthy and moisturized i'll do the same with other cheek okay you guys i'm loving the look that i'm <laughs> having right now this lavender vibe for me is really like a spring color but they advertise it as a summer look so okay but since it's still spring this is perfect for me now <laughs> And now for the one that I am so excited about, we have this limited edition case from Dior. I chose the pink oblique. You guys, the case alone is $52. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And the refill of this is the Lip Shine Addict. That is $37. Of course, I chose the pink lilac. It's $3.91 pink lilac. I will swatch it beside the lavender blush. See how they blend with each other <laughs> this uh, collection is really like well thought the color is very coordinated with each other so let's try this pink lilac shade so this side looks like Okay guys, so personally, since I have a yellow undertone, this is not my choice of color for lipstick because I feel like it washes me out. <laughs> it looks good though. The complete look is all lavender and pink and purple and too Barbie for me. <laughs> I want to top it with a nude gloss or something like that to make it work. I will just top this lipstick with this Dior lip oil in shade mahogany okay that is much better but i still don't like it <laughs> this color is not for me i'm glad i have it because it really completes the look with this shade copper and lip maximizer there you go This is much better, you guys. <laughs> so now I know the next time I will use that pink lilac lipstick, I will combine it with a nude or brown lip gloss. Or maybe I will line it with their lip liner. This is shade 100. So I won't be starting off with a shade. It will look great with, you know, fair skin tone. The one that is lighter than me and the one that has a cool undertone. But if you have a warm undertone, mm -mm, not for me. <laughs> it's pretty though. Okay, you guys, I have a fresh face, okay? I took out all the blush and lipstick and highlighter. And now I want to try the two blushes and the two lipsticks. 
but I don't like this eyeshadow on that puppy coral and that bronze glow lipstick and blushes so what I will do is I will just use this copper shade and cover this lavender to make this look more warm tone instead of this cool tone let's transform this shall we as easy as that <laughs> very sloppy application but see the difference Okay, from cool tone to warm tone, eyeshadow makeup look. Same palette. It's only guys, if you will use this shade one and done, this is gorgeous for summer. I will just do the other eye and I'll be back. Now we're gonna try this puppy coral shade and I'll do the same, just like what I did in the lavender or lilac. I will compare it with this OG viral shade from Dior, this coral shade and believe it or not they almost look the same too <laughs> so i will put the puppy coral in one cheek and coral on one cheek and you'll decide if you need this blush let's do the puppy coral first picks up a lot in a brush the first shade pink lilac and this one is almost a matte blush but when you put it on the cheek it has a glow that's why it's called rosy glow <laughs> blush So gorgeous. This is the blush perfect for summer. OMG, <laughs> I got excited. I love this coral tone of this blush. This puppy coral is beautiful. I don't think I need the bronzer for this one. I'll just keep it like that. And now we will apply the coral shade to compare. I will use another brush. Just from the initial application, you can already tell that puppy coral is brighter. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look for these blushes. To be honest, initial application, the puppy curl looks more brighter and darker but when I put more on that coral shade, it actually looks the same too. Puppy curl? Coral. The difference is very minimal in my opinion. If you already have this coral, you don't need this puppy coral, almost exactly the same. I'm happy I have it, but I don't think you need both. Now for the lip product though, this I'm excited about. This lip glow is $40. This is in shade Puppy Coral. This is how it looks like. I chose the shade on this lip glow balm because I wanted like more pigment. Remember you guys, this is a balm, okay? Let's watch it. Just a hint of color. This is Puppy Coral in Lip Glow Balm Formula. Actually, I like it. It has a subtle shade of coral, but at the same time, it's a balm. It's pretty. This is more my color. You see how it brightens my face and my look. Since I have a yellow undertone, this is the shade for me. I like this 100% more than the pink lilac. Okay guys, now let's go to the last shade, Bronze Glow. I will erase everything again and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. And now we're into this last blush, the Bronze Glow. This is the only one that has the shimmer on it. Unlike the other two, it's both matte. This is shimmery. The shade of this is like a bronzer. <laughs> I will swatch it. It's beautiful though. It's a bronzer for me. <laughs> If it is not part of this collection, I won't buy it because I know I won't be able to use it as a blush but I want to give you guys an option. So I bought it anyway and I don't have the mahogany blush, the original brown blush from Dior because I know I won't be able to use it. Let's try this one. From the swatches alone, I can already tell this is very pigmented so I will use a light hand in it. And this is a fresh brush, okay? It's bronzer shade for me, but it's beautiful now.
is a bronzer blush okay <laughs> this is two in one you already have a bronzer and you have a blush it has a red undertone that i like in a bronzer for a blush not too bad okay actually it's pretty bronze glow i'll do the same with the other cheek and i'll be back okay this is the final look of bronze glow i love it <laughs> It's a beautiful bronze shade of blush and at the same time it looks like a darker terracotta shade. It's doable for a blush. Double purpose for me, bronzer and blush. You don't need any highlighter for this because this is actually glowy which is perfect for summer. Now let's try the lip, the lip oil that has the same shade of this okay, this is in shade bronze glow and speaking of mahogany we're gonna compare the bronze glow and the lip oil and mahogany shade actually it's just a hint of color <laughs> that is bronze glow in a lip oil formula let's swatch the mahogany this bronze glow is more of a bronze more brown in color and this mahogany it has a red undertone bronze glow has a brown undertone mahogany has a red undertone there's a difference for the lip oil so you can have it both okay let's try the bronze glow bronze glow from dior summer 2024 actually i love this lip oil from dior is one of my favorites and i'm so glad i picked it up this shade in this lip oil because this is so pretty this is so perfect for summer among the three lipsticks that i picked up i like this two poppy coral and bronze glow pink lilac i don't like it. i like two i don't like one so it's okay for the blushes i love them all actually this is my favorite because <laughs> i don't have something like this because this two, this pink lilac and this poppy coral, it's almost the same as the original one that I have. Pink and coral shade of the backstage of this Dior blush. For the eyeshadow, I just tried the lavender one. I did not try this coral flame because I know all of you guys have the same color story of this. But if you want me to do a makeup look on this, just let me know in the comment section below. I think this is the one that you want to buy if you're buying because <laughs> at least you have a cool tone here the lavender and these two shades you guys great neutral color you see how i transform my eyeshadow makeup look right i just put this color all over and voila you have a warm tone eyeshadow palette <laughs> so overall i love this eyeshadow so much this bronzer is very nice too it has a shimmer on it so if you're like me you like a bronzer that is not matte this is good it's leaning warm though just a heads up okay and for this forever glow maximizer i haven't tried this rosy yet but this pink though i love it it's worth the money that i paid for so that completes the video what do you think you guys did you pick up any of this what is your favorite among all of the things that i've shown in my opinion this is much better than last year the eyeshadows from last year i don't like it at all it has no pigment or anything like that this year it is really good i love how they create this collection with all these color coordination this bronze this lavender this coral correlated with the eyeshadow this collection is well thought and beautiful makeup release from the art did you try any of this you guys if you did don't forget to share your thoughts put your comments down below and thank you for watching again if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching you guys see you on my next video bye